Hello and welcome to another Movie Picks tutorial. I'm your host Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and today we're going to take a look at an often requested feature in DVD authoring and that is a feature for adding a clip to the beginning of your DVD. In other words, a short video clip we're going to add that appears before your menus appear. The program I'm going to use to do this is DVD Architect Studio. It's from Sony Creative Software. Um, they also make a professional version, DVD Architect. They both function exactly the same way in this respect uh, in terms of adding this little clip before your DVD menus begin. So as you can see, I've got a basic DVD menu structure set up here. This is my main page, our amazing year. This is the first thing you would see if you were to put the DVD in the DVD player. If I click the Play Movie button, it'll play the movie. If I click the Bonus Video button, it opens a new page where I've got three short uh, bonus videos. So that's that's my fairly simple structure. And if you look on the left, you'll see in the project overview window the structure of that DVD kind of laid out as a tree. And I want to add a clip before this main menu. So I'm going to go to the Explorer, which is down in the lower left, and you see it's like Windows Explorer a little bit. And it functions the same way. There's my computer with the extra hard drives. And I can go down here to My Documents, and I can open up my folder, Grisetti Films Logo. There it is. And I'll drag it to the head of the DVD right there and just lay it right on top of that um, DVD, you know, that little disc icon at the top here. Now I want you to notice something, and that is that there's a purple star on the logo. It, it appeared this time when I dragged it up there. Sometimes it doesn't appear, and you have to put it there manually. That purple star is actually a white star in a purple background. is an indicator that this is the first thing you'll see when the, menu, when the DVD launches. So in other words, if I were to have selected this, and you see the purple star set DVD start, if that were set to this menu, when I start up the DVD, even though the Grisetti Films logo is at the top of the DVD structure, the DVD is going to start here on page one. And you'll see as I click preview, there it is. Regardless of the presence of that clip before it, it's where that purple star is that's going to indicate the first thing your viewer sees when he or she puts the DVD into their DVD player. So I'm going to select Grisetti Films logo clip and I'll click on that. Now it's all set. But look here, it says link to most recent menu in green right below it. And we don't have a most recent menu. Uh, this is a clip that's sitting out there all alone. The other clips here that link to the most recent menu mean that when they're done playing, they'll go back to the menu that launched them. In this case, we don't have a menu since we're in the root directory. So the Grisetti Films logo, what we'll need to do is select Grisetti Films logo like this. Just double click on it and you'll see over in Media Properties on the right hand side of the uh, interface here we can select End Action. Now that End Action Destination is set to Most Recent Menu. Well we want from this short clip we want our DVD to go to the first page or page one of our menu, right? So I can select this and from the drop down menu I can choose Menu which is page one. That's what that page is called. Now, if I had called it something else, it would have appeared in this drop down, but I want to select this. That's my destination. And you can see that that changes the way it appears if I look over in the project overview window now again on the left. So now, when I click preview, oh, wait a minute, there's one other thing I want to do, and that is that my logo is just a little bit too long. It's got a little bit of, of black at the beginning of it. So I'm going to go down here to the lower right to the timeline editor. And I want to just trim off part of it here. And I can, uh, by dragging this, I can see there it is, right? That's where I want it to begin. And maybe drag in the end here. This is trimming, just like you would do on the timeline of a, of a video. There's where it ends. So now what we'll see is this section here that's highlighted and on the timeline. That's what's going to play when I first launch the video, or when I first launch the DVD. It's going to play this introductory clip and then it's going to go to the main menu just as the link says. So it goes, uh, when the DVD goes in, it goes to where the purple star is, the Grisetti Films logo. It's going to follow the link to menu page one. And we'll see if we click the preview, that's exactly what it will do. Starts out with the logo, just as it should. And goes right to our, uh, our main DVD menu. That's how simple it is. It's a great little feature in a great little program. So thank you for joining me and for your continued support of MoviePix.com.
Be sure to check out our many other tutorials as well as my Steve's Tips articles for enhancing your Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements and even DVD Architect experience. We'll see you again real soon.